Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be making this video. I've wanted to make it for a very long time. And this past weekend, I went to the beach with my family and I was just getting Mamma Mia vibes because you know, the beach, the beach. And I had recently rewatched Mamma Mia for probably the 100th time in my life. And I went on the internet just to look up the Rotten Tomatoes and look up reviews. And the majority of them were just negative and really bad reviews. And I just felt inspired to make a video just like I did with Star Wars called Everything Awesome About Mamma Mia. Because yes, I could sit here right now and talk to you guys for the next 10 minutes about why the directing in this certain scene is off why this doesn't make sense with this storyline why this character could have been developed better i could have i could even tell you guys hey the visual effects sometimes don't look that good but i'm not going to do that here because i think this movie deserves more praise than hate and i just want to make this channel all positive and today is not the day for me to talk negatively about a movie especially because this is a movie i love very much and on the internet there's so much hate for it and i just want to come off here and say hey i also like mamma mia just in case maybe there's somebody else out there maybe you watching this that also likes mamma mia and i want to take a moment here and let you guys know and tell you guys to please down below tell me something you like about mamma mia and if you've never seen mamma mia or you just simply don't like it then don't leave a hate comment just tell me something you love about a movie that you feel like doesn't get enough praise because i think there's so many movies especially low rated movies on the internet that are loved by so many people but people don't say it because they're either scared of getting judged or they just don't say it and yeah let's just make this a positive positive experience and i have a couple things to talk to you guys about but yes i just freaking love mamma mia so let's get started so something that i love about mamma mia is that it definitely introduced a lot of generations to abba especially me so i'm somebody that hears a lot of old music and i've always been very exposed to it because of my parents and i did know about abba when i was little i mean i've always been listening to them and they're one of the greatest bands of all time but i won't sit here and lie and say that mama mia didn't introduce me to some songs i didn't know like for example i didn't know sos i didn't know money 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 and i'm pretty sure i didn't know many more but those are the two that just came to mind and i love those songs now and i listen to them all the time and this isn't factual like i don't have a percentage of people that now listen to abba because of mamma mia but it kind of reminds me of when movies come out like biopics especially like i remember when bohemian rhapsody came out the queen sales like started rising again and they were listened more on spotify and itunes and all of that and i feel like the same thing happens with mamma mia and this movie came out in 2008 and the second one came out in 2018 i believe so 10 years later and i feel like both of them just sparked a need to listen to ABBA and it's just really awesome. I love when movies do that because ABBA is a great band and everybody should listen to them at least once in their life. Continuing with the songs, which is obviously a huge part because it's a musical, let's talk about how they were able to make an entire storyline based on just ABBA songs, or I guess I should say revolving these songs. And I think that that's so creative and I feel like not enough people give them enough credit for that because obviously these songs were not made for the movie. They just existed and they inspired the storyline, but I've always really liked how the storyline flows. And although people can call it cheesy, simple etc etc i still think it's very smart what they were able to do with it i remember when i was watching this when i was little i was i i used to think that these songs were made for the movie but they obviously weren't and i think that that says a lot about you know the creativity and just the idea of making this movie which again is just not talked about enough and i think it really should because it's awesome and even with the second one it just continues like it's so freaking cool the aesthetic of this movie is beautiful and the color scheme and the color palette and the ocean and grease and it's just such a beautiful looking movie i love everything about it from the outfits they wear to the sets to the locations it's so pretty like there are not words to describe it looks like a really aesthetic pinterest board and i i love that for me i love the aesthetic of this movie so much i do realize i'm saying the same thing over and over again but i just love the aesthetic it's so pretty and it adds so much more to the movie this next positive is such a huge huge positive for me and that is that it is highly rewatchable don't get me wrong there is a lot of movies especially really good movies that are still good without me ever wanting to watch them again 
but i think when a movie is rewatchable it just makes it that much better it just makes it from being a good movie to being a great movie and just because if i'm able to rewatch it multiple times and not get bored you know the storyline's good and you know what's caught my attention it's just such a fun movie i can never get tired of it i literally watched it recently and i could watch it right now again it is such a good movie and it always makes me very happy and i think that's one of the reasons why it's highly rewatchable and it's just fun even if i already know everything that's gonna happen and no this isn't one of those movies that if you watch it again you're gonna get a different you know perspective on it or stuff like that it's not like that but it just is so fun to watch and i just i love watching this movie and i'm always excited to watch it again and one of the reasons it's highly rewatchable it's because of its memorable fun characters i love the characters in these move in this movie i think they were very well explored and they achieved what they wanted to achieve i love the characters they're really fun there's like not one character that i don't like I can't think of right now if when i'm editing this i think of something i'll put it but i just really love all the characters it's awesome i love what they have to say about you know society and i love their messages which i'll get to later i love everything that they bring and it's ever all the characters are like little pieces to a puzzle and the puzzle is an amazing movie so i just i love these characters especially the three dads i love the three dads and i love that storyline it is super cute and i love them i love the theories about like who you think the dad is and all of that if you guys think you know who it is let me know down below i would love to hear your theories and talking about characters something that i really really love about this movie is how women are portrayed and that they're portrayed as strong independent women and i think that is something so important to showcase in media especially because a lot of times they're portrayed completely stereotypical ways and yes this movie does has its little stereotypes but i think the director did an amazing job directing this and i really like everything that they have to say there's no slut shaming there's nothing telling women that they can't have a choice a big part of this is you know having choice and that women can do whatever they put their minds to and that they can just change their minds and it's totally fine and um i totally just spoiled what i was gonna say in messages but there's more to that and like donna donna is the like is a beautiful character and i love everything she has to say and do she is so independent and you definitely see that in the second movie too just how much she was able to do and just all the women in this movie especially sophie as well she's open to the world and she's confident it's just like i really like how the women are portrayed in this movie and it's always so fun especially you know i've seen this movie ever since i was a kid but growing up and just like seeing these strong women really inspires me and i always love that in a movie and this might be the last reason on this video but there's definitely more but i love the messages of this movie especially that women have choices and i didn't really realize this until i saw it uh, recently again but at the end i guess spoiler alert if you haven't seen mamma mia but at the end when sophie decides not to get married that was a very like spontaneous thing to do because the entire movie was building up to that wedding and I've always liked that, but I didn't realize it until last time I was watching it, that it just shows that, you know, it's okay to change your mind and to have choices and to not just conform to what society wants you to do. Marriage is something that, like, society is, you know, highly praises. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with marriage, but I really like that this movie just did that out of nowhere. Like, hey, we can be random, we can be spontaneous, and it's fine. It's totally fine. We don't have to do what society expects you to do right away and i just freaking love it and there's also a bunch of other messages just like the thing that sophie was so you know caught up with her dad's and because giving her away at the wedding but she realized that her mom was there all along it's just a very beautiful movie with very beautiful messages and yes it could be cheesy at times but i don't care i love cheesy when it's done right mamma mia it's just one of my comfort movies one of my favorite movies it's so fun to watch and i will never get tired of this movie and i just i love this movie i hope you guys liked this video it was definitely different and i kind of want to do this for more movies like everything awesome about blank because there's a lot of movies i can think of that don't get enough praise on the internet and just in case somebody watching this video really hates mamma mia i mean you're cool you can you don't have to like a movie i just think you know, it's harsh very roughly, and I don't think it's that terrible of a movie. I've definitely seen worse, but again, somebody else could say that what my worst movie is, what my least favorite movie is, is one of their favorites. You know, everything is subjective, but I think something, especially with this movie, is not talked about enough in the movie community, is that not every single movie has to change the world in a huge way to be super good, and not every movie has to be, you know, plot twisty 
even though those are fun and I love those, this movie's just fun. And it wasn't trying to do anything else other than have fun. And I think that that's enough, you know, for me and it should be enough for the audience. It definitely, I mean, changed my world, but it's a little simple movie. Again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and movie theaters are opening around the world they still haven't opened here where i live hopefully they open soon so i can go see the new mutants and get that review for you guys and yeah hopefully the movies are opening very very soon look out for more videos and make sure to subscribe if you guys aren't i post mondays and fridays and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>